French fry competition. All right, we got the Wendy's French fry and the Mickey D's French fry. I just chose one at random. I'm not gonna blend a bunch together. So we're just gonna do like the end tip of the French fry. Pretty obvious, we got Wendy's on the left and Mickey D's on the right. You almost never see a skin piece on the Mickey D's French fries. Always so super, like, super clean and like light. And they're always darker, they're always darker these Wendy's fries. All right, that's about 500 milligrams of the McDonald's French fry. All right, and the same thing for the Wendy. So we're doing a kind of control this time. Pretty normalized, just one fry each, though. All right, we got them both in the tube. It is so obvious which one's McDonald's on the left, and then you got the Wendy's on the right. Same amount of mass. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add. I'll put maybe a mil or maybe 800 microliters of this 80, 80, 20 methanol water, and then we'll sonicate and extract these. Right in the tubes, and we're gonna go ahead and vortex these. Make sure they're all packed down in there. Then I'm gonna even spin it down really quick, just to make sure all of the French fry is below the liquid level. Right off sonicator, looking about the same color. I'm just gonna do my classic dilution, 450 of that double DI water, uh, and 300 of each sample. Right there, they are diluted out. We got the Wendy's on the left. I don't know, they look pretty similar. Maybe a little cloudier on the Wendy's. All right, then we're gonna spin these guys out. All right, the Wendy's first. Got kind of clear looking. I think we have to put these in the fridge. Our first big difference off the centrifuge. The Wendy's on the left, you can see, is still very cloudy. The McDonald's on the right has like a, a grease layer on top. It's very clear, but it's not cloudy. It's clear. Still kind of cloudy on the left for another dilution. We'll try spinning it out. A little bit more water this time. All right, and then we're gonna spin it out longer. Five minutes, 15,000 RPM. All right, Wendy's off for a second time. This is a really odd looking grease sample. It's got like a floaty grease on top. It's strange. McDonald's looks pretty clear. Those are clear Wendy's versus McDonald's french fries. We're specifically looking for the green potato toxin, um, but then we'll look for all the other differences too. Here we go, Wendy's fries versus McDonald's fries. The McDonald's on top. Look at the difference right away. I mean, you could probably see it. I've been talking about this green potato toxin in the Wendy's fries. There's an enormous peak at 852. Then, miraculously enough, I did not expect this. There looks like there's almost none in the McDonald's fries. Like, the McDonald's fries gotta be, like, engineered in some sort of unique way. Their potatoes don't turn green. Like, there's no, like, essentially no green potato toxin. Or they peel these things to get rid of all of the green on the potato. Or, or, like, something going on. But I gotta say, first glance, these McDonald's french fries are something special. You can do an EIC to confirm here. There's the here, and you can see all right, so there's the uh, 868 mass we got in the McDonald's french fries. We got one E to the five, and we have two E to the six in the Wendy's. I mean, that's like a 2000X. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, we're, I don't know if we're linear here in this quantitation, but like as far as like just, just empirically looking at this, there's almost none in the McDonald's. And then the same thing with the 852 mass. You can see in the McDonald's, we're at like two e to the five and over here we have five e to the six i mean in five e to the six like e to the six is kind of what i've been seeing in, in uh french fries so the mcdonald's is so incredibly low sar is noticing any other major differences other than this massive difference in the green potato toxin it looks like there's a little bit more sugar in the mcdonald's french fries compound here it's, it's a much different potato uh, and then this 286 mass, trying to figure out what this 286 mass is, which is only in the Wendy's french fry. Piprin makes the most sense. And so that is the flavor of the french fry. And I guess those uh, french fries from Wendy's do have a bit more black pepper and flavor and spices on them. Uh, then the McDonald's french fries, a little bit more plain. I, I mean, I'm really surprised, but these McDonald's french fries are kind of like, it seems like in a league of their own as far as the lack of green potato toxin. Uh, it just kind of looks like a different potato than everything else out there, so, I mean, I'm loving it.